Number 46. A 4 kg mass kit sliding on a frictionless surface explodes into two 2 kg parts. 3 meters per second do north and 5 meters per second 30 degrees north of east. What is the original speed of the mass kit? So let me just start in doing some drawing here. So this is our Cartesian plane. So this is our x direction. This is our y direction. Direction. Let me call this north and call this east. So in this case, we have two different parts. So the first part, let's say, goes to the north. So the first part goes to the north. And the second part goes 30 degrees north of east. So this is east. Something like this is 30 degrees north of east. Okay, so the equation that you have to remember to use here is conservation of linear momentum. So since we don't have any external forces acting on our system, then we have that the initial linear momentum must be equal to the final linear momentum. And the initial linear momentum is just the mass of the mass kit times its uh, velocity, let's call it V. That's what we want to find. We want to find the the magnitude of this vector here. And the final momentum is the momentum of the red part, let's call it the red part, which has mass, the, the initial mass over 2 times its velocity, so let's call it V1 plus the mass of the second part, which is also m over 2, times its velocity. Okay, as you can see, we can cross out the masses. So we already have that the initial velocity is equal to v1 over 2 plus v2 over so we have to find a vector v1, vector v2, and then we can sum them and find the vector v. So vector v1 is really easy. It points towards the north, so that's just 3 in the j direction meters per second. That's, that's it. As for the blue vector, the blue vector, we have to make some decomposition. So it is 5 times the cosine of 30 degrees in the i direction plus 5 times the sine sign of 30 degrees in the j direction, also in meters per second. So we can simplify this. This is equal to 5, the square root of 3 over 2 in the i direction, plus 5 over 2 in the j direction in meters per second. So now we can replace the vectors in this equation over here. So v is going to be 3 over 2 j plus 5 over 4 square root of 3i plus 5 over uh, 4j in meters per second. So this is equal to 5 over 4 square root of 3 in the i direction plus 11 over 4 in the j direction in meters per second. So now all we have to do is to find the absolute value of this vector, which is equal to the square root of each component squared. So 5 over 4 is square root of 3 is squared plus 11 over 4 is squared. And this gives us exactly 3.5 meters per second, which is the answer of this problem.